<laughs> Universal Studios Florida is pleased to present the Horror Makeup Show. And now, how about a nice round of applause for the host of today's show, Alex Ross. Enjoy the show, guys. Hey! Blood and Guts? Yeah. Yes, you're in the right place. Welcome to the Horror Makeup Show. I'm your host, Alex Ross. We have a great show for you today. Our special guest is a very good friend of mine. His name is Mark James. He is a makeup artist and a creature creator, and he is in town from LA to share with us some of the latest trends that are happening in the industry. So, let's get him out here right now. Everybody put your hands together. Make it loud. Over Harry Potter. Yeah. Stopped over Ollivanders. Yes. You know that, that wand shop? Yeah. Yeah, one of those wands chose me. Right there. <laughs> oh, oh, it hurts and I feel I feel very woozy. I think I'm dying. Aww. I said I think I'm dying! Aww. You people don't care. Are you friends with her? Really? <laughs> don't worry, I'm, I think I I might survive if I get help from someone in this audience. And that per no. The person is you. Come over here. Hurry up. I don't feel good. Hi. Oh, you know, you're just, yeah. She's the nurse? Oh. She's the nurse? That's okay. Well, then she'll understand what I'm talking about here. I think I need mouth to mouth. I'm dying. Really? Sit down. You're, not, you're, you're really not gonna really. You're, just, you're gonna watch me die, aren't you? I'm gonna have to give a compression in here. What? Exactly. I'm gonna die thanks to you. Here I go. Just scared the living mm -hmm. spit. Um, yes, as you may or may not know, Universal Studios actually invented the modern day horror film. That's right, I brought along some clips of some of the most memorable moments of Universal's legacy of horror. Yes, now I've seen these clips he brings along, and they are not for the faint of heart. So if you're easily nauseated, you might want to close your eyes. Yeah, but let the kids watch. Yeah. <laughs> Project, yeah, I probably it's really goes right over there. Where are you going? Hey, yeah, yeah, what's going on? Hey, hey, stop. What's that? I understand that. I just I want to say that. Oh, like, like a big, big finale. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, okay, cool. No peeking. I won't. Promise? Promise. All right, I'll tell you what you can do. Go out in this audience, find me someone okay. that no one's going to miss. A volunteer! Sounds good to me. Yeah. yeah. 
Oh, okay. Now I should tell you that when we chose people in the past who volunteered, they were crazy. <laughs> I want somebody who thought this was a ride. I thought they were going to get something for free, like free butterbeer or something. Actually, I'm feeling kind of crazy because I'm going to pick this guy in the third row with his hand up. Listen to that applause. What's your name? Mike? I'm Alex. Nice to meet you. Mike, this is Mark. Hi, Mike. How are you? Nice to meet you. Ah! <laughs> Hi. The mic is... Ah! It's real. Okay. <laughs> Mike, where are you from? Scarlet, Mike from Scarlet. Cool. Who are you with? Do you got a camera? Right, right there? Do you, have, do you have a camera? Hello. You got a... It's a good picture, um, Sean. That's yes. only a 30 minute show. I mean, that's way. <laughs> wow, there you go. Okay, You got it? Very nice. Mike, uh, you said that's, that's right. How, how long have you guys been married? Five years. Five years. Oh, cool. Very nice. Very nice to think about that, though. I saw that turn this day. Yeah, it's been a long five years. Wow. This is, I feel like I'm on Maury. <laughs> well, Mike, I'll tell you what, because it's been a long five years. How about if I built you a second wife? Huh? Oh. Okay. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Mike, you'll be an interesting drive home tonight, I'll tell you right now. Mike, do me a favor, put your hands out like that, okay? Very nice. Okay, I've got all the body parts to build you that second wife. Here's one hand. That's what we call first base. All right. <laughs> I got two, three, four. Wow, I got I got five hands. Wow, that's that, that's a party. All right, Mike. I can like send you from Scotland. I got this foot that's been sitting around me for a while. Oh. So it's not like haggis to you? Ew. There we go. Take Mike. Okay. Uh, if I have to put all those body parts out of the table, I'm gonna get the butt out of the fridge. Great. So Mike, right. we're gonna come right over here. Toss everything, just toss it like right there, it's fine. Why did you do that for me? I was having some fun. I'm sorry, it'll never happen again. Where are you going? Stay right here. No, you stay right here. All right, Mike, I'll tell you what. For the rest of the show, I'm going to have you be my assistant, okay? I need you to stand there and look like you don't trust me. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Alex, you're going to do the hard part each roll up your left sleeve. Okay? Okay. Now, a lot of you might be saying to yourself, well, how do they get all those severed limbs and body parts out of the table? Well, you know what? Today, I'm going to show you. Come on, oh, over here, Alex. No. Oh, come on. I need your help. Mike! Hey! 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 Come on over here, Mike. I'm not going to cut you with this big old blade. That would be insane. Okay? What I am going to do is... Where you going, Mike? He's just giving you a little space. Yes. I'm going to cut you with this much smaller, sharper blade. All right? Now, Mike, come on over. Let me see that arm. All right. Very nice. Very painy. Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to take this knife. I'm going to cut your arm right off, okay? I'm not going to lie. It's going to hurt. <laughs> Actually, it's not, okay? But this is where I need you to act for me like it does. Uh, I'm going to need you to scream. Okay, so it sounds like I'm cutting into your arm. In fact, why don't we practice, okay? I'll count to three, you just scream your head off. Here we go. One, two, three! Ah! Mike! Yeah. Yeah. He's done! Yeah. He's done! Yeah. All right, here we go. You ready? Okay, here we go. One, two, three! Wait! What? I'm so sorry. I see some kids. Wait, you want me to cut a kid? <laughs> no? I'm talking. Talk to them. Talk to them. Really? Talk to the kids. Okay, here we go. All right. What's up, kids? <laughs> now, the blades you see today or in the movies are completely dull or they're made of plastic and rubber. A lot like the Kardashians. <laughs> oh, like you know the movie. <laughs> no, uh, we don't use real blades here in the movies, okay? Uh, now, the gags you see today have been done by complete professionals, so don't you try this at home. Yeah. Try it at a friend's house. Like, what? No, 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 no. I'm no. kidding. Try it at church. Yeah. Um, exactly. Can we get a close up? All right. Yeah? Okay. You ready? Here we go, Mike. You ready to scream? Elongate it. Elongate it. Two, 
Favorite, he's, oh, he's, is it video? Oh, it's video? video? Oh, it's oh, like a boomerang. There, there it is. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Does it hurt, Mike? Really? You can feel it? Does, does it hurt? Right on. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get a better parking spot. <laughs> <laughs> Show me how you get better. Yeah, so who's ever Mike? Yeah! Oh. I love Mike. It's a good guy. Check this out. All right. So, like I was saying earlier, this blade is completely dull. It's what's called a retractable blade. So I'm going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth on Mike's arm, okay? Now you can feel it's not cutting, it's very dull, I mean, you can't feel it. So, how does it look like it's inside the arm? I pull the handle out like this. No, no. Oh, look at that! There's a groove that goes right over the arm, like so! Now, where's that blood coming from? It's coming from a blood ball at the end of this hand. Now this gag was developed by Tom Savini. He was a makeup artist behind Dawn of the Dead, the original. Notice the blade's not real, Mike is a-okay. All right, applause for Mike! Stuff, yes. But uh, there's a long history with bar makeup and... That's right. You know, it all started in the 1920s with bar makeup pioneer Lon Chaney, or otherwise known as the Man of a Thousand Faces. Lon was a makeup artist behind such universal classic monsters like the Family Opera and the Hunchback of Notre Dame. Lon was a brilliant actor, truly suffered for his art to bring these twisted characters to life. Uh, for example, in Hunchback, he wore a 40-pound hump on his back and a harness that could hurt his body so he couldn't stand up right while filming. But we can only assume how Lon Chaney achieved these amazing transformations. He was so secret about his techniques, he wouldn't tell anybody. Not even his own son, does anybody know his son's name? Lon Someone said Dick Chaney, that's funny. No, I mean, it's, not <laughs> it's Lon Chaney Jr., who was the Wolfman in the 1930s, which brought along Mr. Jack Pierce. Now, Jack Pierce was a mastermind behind such universal classic monsters like the Wolfman, the Mummy, the Bride of Frankenstein, Lady Gaga, and Elon Musk. <laughs> Jack worked day and night to bring these twisted characters to life. He would actually visit morgues and work on real human corpses. That's me trying to find Taylor Swift tickets for my daughter for Christmas. <laughs> it's been awful. Uh, the Frankenstein monster makeup was a combination of rubber, plaster, mortician, wax, and toxic. That's right, toxic grease paint. It took up to four hours to apply. But it took twice as long to adhere all the layers upon layers of makeup, mud, and bandages on Boris Karloff's entire body in the original body. Universal said amazing monsters. It's not so amazing monsters as well. And, oh, who can forget the big head brain creature from the Silent Earth, huh? Come here, Earth Woman, we've been trying to reach you out your car's extended warranty. Where are you going? <laughs> but then in 1968, the industry changed forever when John Chambers used foam latex makeup in the original Planet of the Apes. Now this was so innovative, are you kidding me? <laughs> Hold on just one second, okay? I'll be back to this in a second. Hi, Alex. Hi, Hi, how are you? I am so good. good. Yeah. yeah. Did you hear that alarm okay. go off? I did. Yeah. It was so alarming. Yeah, interesting. Interesting. Yeah, that's, that's my curtain alarm. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, who knew? Yeah. I, I, I have that attached to this curtain. Yeah. In case anybody decides to, I hope not, peek. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, we talked about this at the beginning of the show. Oh, I, wouldn't, I, wouldn't, I didn't do it. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't get, no, do it. No, that kid did it. What? I threw something. That kid right uh, there? In this area. Mm -hmm. One of these kids. That yeah, kid. yeah, yeah, I was fixing it. You were fixing it. That kid threw something. What did you throw? He threw a cigarette? What? No, I didn't say that. Is that what you said? No, I didn't. Really? No. Right, he, but well. I was like, hey, dude, no. And he was like, shut up, old lady. I'm doing a wrong. What? Yeet? Yeet? He yeeted? I know. I mean, that. Uh, wow. He's like two years old. Yeah. All right, you know what? I'm going to talk to him. Oh. Check this out. I know how to speak kid. Oh, no, no, no. Check this out. I learned this for my daughter. All right. Here we go. Oh. What up? <laughs> Maybe I don't know how to speak. 
Uh, okay. Try this one, try this one. What? Oh, is that? Yeah. Is that better? Maybe we can. <laughs> he started doing it. Uh, okay, here we go. He, he tried. See, it, it's, it's like it's kryptonite. It's yeah. crazy. Uh, hey, you didn't. A cigarette? Really? I don't know. You didn't toss a cigarette that hurt, remember? You did? Oh. <laughs> what? Well, there's a door, you little punk. <laughs> Jackson, where are you from? Pocatello? Is that Florida? Florida? I don't know, I might be. Where's Pocatello? Where is it? Idaho. Idaho. Oh, okay. Idaho. I mean, it, we could have that thing. We could. That sounds like a Florida thing. <laughs> Pocatello, Idaho. All right. And you toss a sick, really? I'll tell you what. Here's what's going to happen. What's your name again? It's Jackson. Jackson? I'll tell you what, Jackson. Miss Jackson, if you want to I'm sorry, I can't. I can't. I'm elderly. I got it over there. That was pretty awesome. Yeah. Five, four, three, two. I'm sorry, I can't. I can't keep going. No, we're sorry. fine. We're fine. Jackson, I got to tell you something. Oh, my God, you're sitting down. Just yeah. Don't sit down. Let's see here. For the rest of the show, I just want to let you know. I'm watching you. Okay? I am watching you. Like a hawk. Ah! <laughs> hey, don't laugh. This isn't Disney. I don't have to be nice to you. Okay, here we go. Moving on. Moving on. Moving on. Moving on. Right. on. Just Keep going. Children Come on. Come on. Just go. What? Wait. I, I don't even know what I was talking about. You were here in the middle. You were talking about it. I ate some latex. Go. What? Go. No. What? Latex. Oh, my God. Yeah, she said, she said latex. Okay. That's good. That's something totally good. You want to explain that to him over there? Jackson. No, no, no. Yeah, I, can't over here. Okay. I know you will. No, I'm talking about latex and the many ways of bringing creature life. In fact, makeup techniques will literally transform the Universal's remake of The Mummy. Jackson, we're not done yet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Begin pre production. Makeup artists designed a series of conceptual drawings, in some cases, painting directly over existing photos of actress Sophia Patella who played the mummy in the film. Now, from these drawings, uh, sculpts were created in reference to build latex, latex. appliances. Yes, yeah, some were glued directly to her face. Uh, tiny individual runic symbols were applied by tweezers. Now, this process took about four hours to complete, and that was just from the neck up. And then, large silicone appliances were created with ink-infused glue embedded into them to produce thousands upon thousands of runic symbols that covered her entire body in the film. Now, as you can see from the time lapse here, it took up to six makeup arts daily to get the makeup just right. That was before getting into costume. Both Sophia and her stunt double Lucy Cork went through this process dozens and dozens of times. But folks, let me tell you, it really, really pays off in this film. Check this scene out, this is awesome. Whee, catch me. <laughs> But you know what's great? The uh, makeup artists today are inspired by the makeup artists of yesterday, like Lon Chaney, Jack Pierce, and one of my favorites, Rick Baker. Oh, Rick Baker! Yes. Yeah, he's got a lot of Academy Awards, right? Seven to be exact. Yes, the last one being from the Wolfman remake with Benicio Del Toro. Oh, wow. He's also one with Ed Wood. Yes, um, Karen, Karen Henderson. Yeah, uh, there was uh, The Grinch. Men in Black. Men in Black. Yes. Yes. Why don't we take a look at one of his earliest works? Kids, if you know this movie, uh, scream it out. E.T. Wow, look at you, big kid. Where's E.T.? <laughs> he's back and he's constipated. <laughs> no, this is actually an American werewolf in London. Long before the Wolfman remake, Rick Baker pioneered the art of transformation. It was so innovative that he won the very first Academy Award in makeup special effects. That is still gorgeous. It's yes, one it of my favorite scenes yes. for me. Uh, what, how is it though the face moves around and changes shape like that? You know what, actually I can tell you. Really? Right yeah, I can. Okay. Now in that first scene, that was actor David Naughton in foam latex makeup. But then Rick Baker designed a series of what we call changeo heads, so we're lucky to have these. Uh, he built a movable fiberglass understructure, like that uh, curtain there, a uh, movable fiberglass understructure, sort of like a mechanical skull, based on actor David Naughton's face. Then he took a series of latex masks to put over the skull. Now, notice the pistons in the back here, it's actually run by pneumatics. Air pressure? That's right, okay. simple air pressure. Actually stretches the latex mask, makes the face change shape. Notice the detail in the airbrushing here. Uh, uh, this is for close-ups of the movie. They both have porcelain dental appliances, and you know what, this one actually has real human hair. Really? Where's the hair from? 
Uh, it's from Idaho. Oh. It's from Idaho. Oh. Thanks, Jackson. Welcome, Jackson. Um, Is this technology still being used today? You know what? Today we use a lot of CGI. Computer-generated imagery? That's right. I'm going to flip my love to show you. Yes, please. Sounds good. Do it. You know, uh, sometimes mechanical and practical makeup limits the filmmaker's time or budget. So we got to use computers to bring our creatures to life. <laughs> A uh, placeholder is called animatics are created before shooting starts to give the feeling of movement or uh, placement that the creature will have. For instance, in The Mummy, the digital effects team actually captured actress Sophia Patella's facial features as well as body structure, so that the digital artist could actually morph her face as well as body structure and movement in real time. Both the uh, digital and practical makeup parts need to refer back to the original design. Everything still relies on basic makeup techniques so the effect is absolutely flawless. I gotta tell you, you know, I, we've had some amazing monsters, and uh, you know, with uh, both mechanical and practical makeup, uh, nightmares definitely become reality. Give it up for Mark J. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Oh, yes, I'm going to yeah. need your help. Yeah, really? Gonna, yeah, I'm going to okay. need you to put on Great. this uh, this high voltage vest. Mm -hmm. right, just, yeah. uh, low voltage vest. No, it's got you a said voltage. high voltage. I said high, it's got some no. voltage. Get somebody else. Uh, Mike. Mike. Give it up. Wow. Mike's coming yeah. up. Yeah. Stop it in the house. Yeah, Mike. Yeah. Yeah. You can give it up a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah. Box jumps in your life. All right. I need your help. Yes. Again, could you uh, put that glove on? Okay, I can do that. Sure. Can. Oh, help? Does he need to zip it? Uh, no, oh, he's no, no, he don't, don't worry about that. Right. Hey, Mike, uh, I've got a question for you, though. Have you ever seen a movie called The Green Mile? Yeah. You have. Not you know how it sense. <laughs> All right. There you go. Take a look at you, Mike. Wow. You look like a Power Ranger. You. Uh, basically, this is called a telemetry suit. It's got a whole bunch of wires and sensors on it. It's actually connected to a creature I've got behind the curtain over there. But I'm going to tell you more about that in just one second. Okay, right now, I'd like to introduce everybody to my creature. Can I get a drum roll, please? Hey, look! You know exactly what's happening now. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. Help me bring to you the one, the only, Eddie! Let try this again. Come on. Louder. He is for the live action uh, sequel to the uh, Tour of the Explorer. Oh. You know that live action movie that came out a few years back? It's a great scene. It's the last scene of the movie. It's a scene where Dora learns how to run. <laughs> no, I rap it She doesn't make it though. All right, uh, how you doing, Mike? You doing wonderful? Come on over. You're fine. All right, just step right there, Alex. Okay. Here's what's going to happen, all right? Okay, man to man, this is what's going to happen. I'm going to turn on that power box. Electricity is going to come through these wires, and through these wires, and through these wires, and right into that vest. Okay? But you, my friend, you might feel a little... <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, you won't remember a thing when you wake up. Okay, Mike? Your pants might be a little wet, though. Okay, picture! Picture. Everybody say insurance. Insurance. All right. All right, Mike. All right. Do me a favor. Do not move. Do not move. Okay. Here we go. Let's hope this works. Boom. Okay. Good. Oh. Mark. Is that? Yeah. Yeah. It's good. It's good. It's good. Hey, okay, Mike. Hold on. Just one second. Get back. He might explode. Hi, Mike. All right. Let's go very gently here. No, no, we're not moving. Look, we're just moving on. Yeah. Pretty cool, huh? Folks, this is the same technology they use in video games. It's also the same technology they use to keep Keith Richards alive. Oh. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, come on. Let's Okay, check this out. Let's go back and forth. I like big butts when I can't lie. <laughs> you like big butts there, Mike? Yeah, me too. Yeah. Yeah, mine too, man. Well, there we go. Check this out. 
Hi, kids. Hi, Jackson. <laughs> My name is Eddie, and I live under your bed. No. 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 Sorry. Apologize. Check your closet. Put her hand in her stomach. All right, this is where we're going to take a bow. So bow down. Look at that. That's where the helmet comes in. Go back up. All right, I'm going to turn this off. What do you think, folks? Thank you. <laughs> 